Hello everyone, this is Inayat Mir with my new video. This video is about creating a new free AWS virtual server which is running or which will run Windows Server 2016 operating system. So it is very simple. You have to go to https colon slash slash aws dot amazon dot com that is where you are going to create a free virtual machine fill up the form so this form will require your email then you set up and confirm the password then optionally you also can set up a username or account name then continue once you are done you will be able to complete a sign up to see a launch page so the page uh, looks like uh, let me give you a brief look of the page the page will be like this AWS sign in page but before you get this page you have to check your email you will see different three emails from AWS read each email but the one email that says your AWS account is ready you have to click on that account now you have to follow this link because you have to complete your sign in so now because I have done this already I do have my account already so I was logged in before I'm going back to my main page again now once you log in with your username and password you will see this screen the next is you look at AWS services what we are choosing is EC2 so we are intending to create a new EC2 option or service then you will launch a instance of Windows Server 2016 so what we are looking for here is Windows Server 2016 base image alright so now you click on select once you select you will see on the left side it also says free tier eligible now you highlight on top of 12 micro you will see the detail about the server once you read the information click on next to configure the server here you can create one or two servers or multiple servers I am going to leave as a default but if you want to read more information from left column so you will see this circle which has an exclamation sign in it so highlight that exclamation sign read each single option even we don't have to go through this all but it is only for informational purposes once you read every single option but we are not going to make any change then click on next once you click on next you will see the default option you are given 30 gigabyte hard drive size you have a solid state drive available again we are not going to make any change here you can review and launch or you can go to the next option where you see step 5 here you can add a name or you can say tag uh, just uh, I am adding here name value so I am going to create a name of the server which I am intending to have a DC or domain controller and click on next now again you look at the information on step number six where you can see a RDP is a remote desktop protocol 
then you see TCP protocol, you will see 3389 default port number or range and you will leave as it is. Once you read the information, click on review and launch. So, this last step will take a while. Once you scroll down from the right pane and click on launch, you will see this new pop-up window. Now, you have to choose a key pair. So, this is a new server. So, I am going to select a new key pair. Now, this is optional to give a name. Name Giving a name is important, but optional that what name you are going to provide. So, something you can remember. So, my AWS key. You can download key pair as a next step. You can save it to a safe place in your drive. So, as you see that I am downloading it. On the back end, actually, I will save this information. You will see how, but I am going to launch this instance. You can see the status. Your instances are launching now. Now, you can scroll down, click view instances from the right side. Now, it is pending, but within one to two minutes, you will see that it will basically gonna be running. So, on the second other column status checks, you will see initialized, initializing option is available. Now, my instance is running and initializing. Now, you can go to action and click on connect. You have to decrypt the password as well and you can save this information at some point somewhere as PEM file. So, I am saving for now in my download folder and I am going to decrypt my password and I am going to save this decrypted password into a notepad. So, you have to put these pieces together, organize them in a very professional manner. As I did, I opened a notepad, I saved the decrypted password, then I used it later on. So, that is what you can do as well. Uh, I am just giving you a, a small uh, overview of what actually was done. So, now you can actually connect to your virtual server because server is running. So, I have this information so far saved under my download folder. Here you are going to paste your password which is my decrypted password and click on yes. Now, within 3 to 5 minutes, we have a nice Windows Server 2016 server up and running. Now, you want to go online, click on yes option from the network pop-up window. You also can go to your explorer. If you want to launch your command line, you also can do so from this explorer window by typing C as in Charlie, M as in Mary, D as in David, CMD and you can see your default host name which you can change and I will change later on in my other video. You can type control space system to look at system properties where you see your default name and default work group, memory, 64-bit operating system. You also can go to ping any website because now on this server you have access to the internet. So, we did a couple of things here. Uh, you can use start space i explore to go to your internet explorer, but here by default you will face couple of annoying things here because you don't want to go and keep adding websites one by one. Whichever website you go, you're going to have this IE pop-up. 
so that is a kind of botheration so what you do here launch your server manager click on your local server from the left column move to the right and ie enhanced security configuration just turn off for now for yourself and for your users to avoid any kind of pop up or any kind of annoying message so this was just an overview for everything now you have your username you have your decrypted password you have everything available to launch this aws server from anywhere in the world this is not something i'm saying that you can launch only from your home or from your home network no this can be launched from anywhere in the world so that is what my uh, basically attempt was to show you how this works and thank you for watching this video keep watching bye